watching what we eat is overwhelming. Thankfully, using minimal ingredients can help keep things simple and healthy. Lindsay is in the FNS Outdoor Kitchen with a registered dietitian with more. In the Kitchen with Daytime Blue Ridge, sponsored by FNS Building Innovations. Build smart, build right. When you're shopping at the grocery store, reading the labels can be very overwhelming. A lot of ingredients, what do you look for? Well, we have an expert in the FNS Outdoor Kitchen joining us today, Alice Smith from Alice Approved It. Help us break all of this down. It's a lot of letters, a lot of words, lots of numbers. You're the expert. What do we need to know? <laughs> it's a lot and it can really make or break you. What goes in your cart at the grocery store is going in your cabinet, on your dinner table, yes. in your lunch bag. So really thinking about simplifying it and a good rule of thumb when you're shopping in the middle of the aisles, five ingredients or less. Five or, five five. or less. That's, that's a hard that's goal. That's hard. That's hard. So that's for things that you are consuming <clears throat> on a daily basis. And we're not talking about our treats, our birthday cake, but if it's something right. you're eating every day for breakfast, lunch, snacks, Check that out. And also okay. the first ingredient is what is found most in the product. So it's actually, wow. it's not in alphabetical order. It's in descending order by weight. Okay. So for example, we have our mini muffins here and they're about 40 ingredients. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, a, lot, a lot more than five. A lot more than five. And the first ingredient is sugar. So wow. sugar is what's found most in this product. So really just thinking about how we can swap out our processed food uh -huh. for real food. So can you do a recipe of blueberry muffins? How can wow. how can we swap that out? Same you thing. are breaking, I mean, this is like <laughs> like exploding my mind, yeah. knowing that that the what is at the top of top the ingredient of the list, list most. is most, yeah. So really think about the first three ingredients. What are mm -hmm. those? Is sugar one of those? And even things from a swap from processed food to real food. So okay. our instant oatmeal. Seems healthy, right? Right. Just okay. Oatmeal, oats. right? Okay. Well, there are sugar is the second ingredient. Okay. We also have some artificial sweeteners in here, oh. and so right here, just your old-fashioned oats. It might take a few more seconds. Get the quick yes. oats, and you can flavor these. Add in some honey or maple syrup as a natural sweetener. Put your own sweetener in there that's healthier. Yes. Flavor okay. it with nuts, berries, banana raisins, and that's going to be yes. just a huge. If you're doing this every day, that's a swap that will really make a big difference. Absolutely. Yes. That's really good. Good to know. Okay. Yes. So what else do we need to know with um like as far as peanut butter goes? Because kids love peanut butter and jelly, right? So peanut butter is a staple <clears throat> in most homes. It's nutritious, it's delicious, right. it's quick, it's easy, it's cheap. So with your peanut butter, you really want the ingredients to be just peanuts and salt. So no hydrogenated oils, no okay. added sugar. Smucker's Natural is a great option. So yes. just peanuts and salt, a natural option. Because there's a lot of sugar in peanut butter out there. There's a lot of sugar. Yes, yes. a lot Alice, of sugar. This is so <laughs> helpful and just, I mean, just really practical things and easy things that we can keep in mind as we are walking the aisles. Thank yeah. you so much. Yeah, thanks for having me.